The clear point, often misunderstood by many individuals, is that every thought we consider, every language we articulate, shapes our future reality. It's like directing our thoughts towards the cosmos, where they are recognized and reciprocated in the form of lived experiences. Although this concept may seem simple, many hesitate to grasp its essence. For those who don't know or reject this notion, it may seem absurd. However, it is imperative to recognize that every thought or spoken expression plays a role in shaping our impending destiny. Similar to preparing a meal or participating in any other activity, we actively construct our own life paths. This notion is simple but difficult to embrace. Once adopted, however, individuals acquire the ability to purposefully shape their existence and recognize undesirable elements and their influences. Although this idea has endured throughout history, in the last two decades, it seems that the cosmos has intervened, revealing this concept to those prepared to receive it. Many of us engage in continuous contemplation without consciously paying attention to our thoughts. It becomes an automatic process. However, cultivating awareness of these thoughts is essential. A pragmatic approach to achieving this is to ask questions such as, what occupies my thoughts? Do I want this thought to shape my reality? Am I open to the experiences that this thought can bring? Although it takes time, even starting with the fundamental step of cultivating mindfulness of one's thoughts can instigate favorable transformations. An effective approach involves the repetition of affirmations, the intentional formulation of positive statements about one's life. This practice can be incorporated into morning, midday, or evening routines, establishing a habitual pattern. Starting this routine can produce subtle changes, similar to a traffic light turning green. Although seemingly inconsequential in the wider context, these small triumphs can prove extremely satisfying. The act of affirming involves not only vocalizing these statements, but also inscribing them on a wall, mirror, or any visible surface. Standing in front of a mirror and vocalizing affirmations can be especially impactful, leading individuals to accept or reject positive statements about themselves. Take, for example, standing in front of a mirror in the morning and saying, I am blessed, prosperous, redeemed, forgiven, healthy, whole, talented, creative, confident, secure, disciplined, focused, prepared, qualified, motivated, gifted, valuable, free, loved, accepted, and approved. I am the image and likeness of the Creator, and I take responsibility for being all that I was created to be. Initially, this can be a challenge for many, given the tendency to dwell on perceived imperfections. However, starting the day with this powerful affirmation sets a positive mood. Have faith that the universe notices everything, your expressions and reflections. By doing this, you magnetize positive things in your life. Formulating affirmations about yourself enables the universe to decipher how to materialize these aspirations in your existence. The process reflects the planting of a seed. It may not be aligned with reality at the moment, but it represents a desired reality. Plant the seed, wait for it to grow and trust. The idea is that your subconscious understands as a truth what is repeated many times and ends up attracting similar events into your reality. So, if you repeat your positive affirmations on a daily basis, over time your mind will condition itself to believe what you are saying. Positive affirmations are a way of reinforcing our thinking towards what we believe in, want, and like. When you formulate your positive affirmations, it's worth bearing three elements in mind. They must be in the present. Positive affirmations are not about what has happened in the past or what you want in the future. They focus on the here and now, i.e., the present moment. So avoid saying I will, I was, or I will. They should only include positive words. Avoid at all costs using negative words that involve no, 
After all, you don't want to deny something. The idea is to reinforce what you want. They should be made with fact and truth. Positive affirmations work by reinforcing certainty in your subconscious. So avoid words like maybe and could and use terms like I am and I do. Here are some examples you can use in your daily life. Positive affirmations for health. I love every cell in my body. I take loving care of my body. I am always discovering new ways to improve my health. Positive affirmations for healing. Healing happens. I turn off my mind and let my body's intelligence naturally promote its healing work. Uh, I am free of pain and totally in tune with life. Positive affirmations for spirituality. I wish to open myself up to the unlimited prosperity that is everywhere. I live in a universe of love and abundance and harmony. The law of attraction only brings good things into my life. Positive affirmations for self-love. I came into this world to learn to love myself more and to share this love with those around me. I feel good when I look in the mirror. I deserve love, joy and everything good that life has to offer me. Imagine yourself in front of a mirror, articulating affirmations. The act of looking into your own eyes while affirming positivity carries deep meaning. It encompasses self-acceptance and sets a positive mood for the day ahead. Developing this habit, although initially challenging for many, produces impactful results. For example, verbalizing self-love in front of the mirror despite the initial difficulty, sets a constructive tone for the day. The analogy of planting seeds serves to emphasize the patience needed in this process. Like seeds that need time to sprout, affirmations may not produce monumental, immediate changes. Instead, you may notice subtle changes, comparable to a string of green lights lining up as you navigate through life. After two days, Avoid checking on the progress of the seeds. Let the process unfold naturally. Consistency is important, so make daily affirmations a habit. Giving thanks, especially in the morning, is powerful. The idea is that the more you appreciate good things, the more good things come your way. Dealing with deep-seated beliefs about deserving good things is crucial. If you think you don't deserve good things, Challenges can arise. To make a change, focus more on positive affirmations than negative ones. Understanding how childhood beliefs affect you requires self-reflection. Write down your thoughts, classify them and turn the negative ones into positive affirmations to transform entrenched beliefs. Understanding the law of thought is like embarking on a transformative journey similar to learning a computer language. Miraculous changes happen when you understand how your thoughts influence your reality. This awareness enables you to make significant changes, starting with recognizing and loving yourself. Many people struggle with self-love, facing feelings of inadequacy and unworthiness. However, learning to love and accept yourself is not a matter of vanity. It's about recognizing your inherent value. Taking care of yourself and recognizing your importance is like embracing your perfection as a human being. It involves treating yourself with respect and changing the negative internal dialogue. Loving yourself doesn't mean being narcissistic, but it does involve recognizing your value and treating yourself properly. The transformative effect of self-love extends to the way you express yourself, promoting a positive interaction with life. The shift from negative self-perception to self-respect can pave the way for a different, more positive reality. Continuing the discussion about vibrations and their impact, it is crucial to engage in practices that start a journey towards positive energy. Encouraging people to work in front of the mirror provides a practical method for starting this transformative process. Looking into one's own eyes and affirming self-love such as saying, I love you, Mary, reaches the inner child who may have felt rejected for a long time. This simple act serves as a catalyst, breaking down emotional barriers and opening the door to small miracles and positive changes. 
Gratitude emerges as a powerful force in this process. The universe is attracted to greaterful individuals, and the more someone expresses gratitude, the more abundance is attracted. Life, despite its apparent complexity, is inherently simple, and our tendency to complicate it can be alleviated. But is just doing positive affirmations enough? I don't think so. In addition to believing what you're saying, you need to have habits, routines, and behaviors that reinforce these affirmations on a daily basis. Embarking on a spiritual journey brings greater awareness, allowing us to make conscious decisions in various aspects of life. It involves going beyond the routine of daily existence and actively selecting our thoughts, actions, and even eating habits. Moving forward with intention, some may find tempting shortcuts that lead to nothing substantial, while others steadily progress towards a more positive path. Achieving enlightenment involves releasing beliefs that hinder personal growth, reflecting on the beliefs we have adopted, and consciously choosing to discard those that no longer serve us is a crucial step. Each belief we hold was a choice, and recognizing this enables us to make informed decisions. Recognizing that everyone has their own belief system, I often emphasize that what is true for one person may not be true for another. Personal belief systems shape individual paths, and it is crucial to recognize the uniqueness of each journey. Making thoughtful and conscious decisions lays the foundations for a fuller and more satisfying life, improving overall well-being. In my early days of working with people, I developed the habit of listening carefully to their words. I realized that many people often used negative expressions that hindered their progress. Removing such expressions, especially during challenges, is crucial. Negative internal dialogue such as, I'm not good enough or it's a horrible day, hinders our progress and contributes to a less positive journey. Our journeys are unique, starting from different points. Aha moments are important learning experiences. It's vital to remember and use what we've learned to keep moving forward. Learning is a lifelong process that never stops. Even at 80, I'm still learning, although the lessons are easier now. Think of the journey as blazing a trail. It starts with hard stones, but turns into manageable gravel. The challenges become less daunting, but sometimes an old problem returns, needing attention. Learning and growing never stop, and each lesson allows us to improve. Mistakes are not failures. They help us learn and use knowledge better. Maintaining the belief that positive things await us 